Hello, everybody. After we've cleared Earthen Peak, there are actually a couple of things that I want to do before we progress to the somewhat inexplicable Iron Keep. One of those things is to show off a couple weapons that I haven't gotten a chance to. These are the claws that we bought from Gilligan. Speak of the devil, let's let's go talk to him. Come to see our Gilligan, Nadia. <laughs> should have listened to the warnings. This place is flippin' mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I, I thought, at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of you all, my old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, my old chum? That gaping hole? Well, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh. And, and those human statues? Oh, what are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody told me that the grave of, of, of a saint lies below here. N not built by the king, no, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hall. And there's... There's something about some... Some rat king down there. Hell, <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. Oh, I should... Huh? Seen some... You want to go down that awful hole? You must have lost your marbles. <laughs> fine, sure, fine. I'm happy to be of service. You need a ladder then, sure enough. But you'll, uh, you'll have to show some generosity. A very reasonable offer. Just you wait. <laughs> this is more or less how the game intends for you to reach the Grave of Saints and later the gutter. Finding Gilligan in Earthen Peak will allow you to buy a ladder from him. Several, actually. The ladders differ in length depending on the price you pay for him. The 500 soul ladder is worthless and I won't be getting it. Hey, this ladder's not for sale. The only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy, you can buy as many as you like. <laughs> well, that's fine. But if you want my help, you'll need to make me an offer. Well, really? A very generous offer indeed. Especially from you. I get such a warm feeling inside when I get the chance to help others. <laughs> this ladder is much longer than the other ladder. Having both of them in place will make traversing the pit in Majula much easier. Even though we've technically already gone down there, there are a couple of things that having these ladders will make easier to reach. Hey, this ladder's... Here you are, my friend. You can have these, eh? It's a little bonus, you know, for your big purchase. Oh, come on. 
Don't look so glum. I'm trying to be nice here. You're hopeless, I tell you. At this point, I'm pretty sure that Gilligan suffers from delusions of persecution. Hal has a mask on. Cheers for that. <laughs> Whatever, we're done with him for now. Unpleasant old coot, but he offers valuable services. Tends to put words in other people's mouths, though. Checking back in on Kale and his map, nothing much has changed. There's no real benefit to going in checking, but it's sort of nice to get a visual indicator of your progress from time to time. Speaking of indicators of progress, I'm going to try and fail to get a certain line of dialogue out of Shalqua. Oh. Much like all cats, she's very yeah. finicky about what she does <laughs> at any given time. Serious. You do have a rather tight. Are you going to see the old ones? Now, those four who have grown. There is so some trigger or other that ancient. will let Shalqor comment on the old ones that you have fought and defeated in battle. In this now. case, for us, it would be the lost sinner. For heaven's sake! No one even knows their names anymore. I'll probably just go find Imagine a clip of that, that on my own time <laughs> and post it as a bonus. Yes. They're not especially enlightening like or yourself. long either. It's just, they're nice little bits of flavor. Pleasant scent. It grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> Have you made friends with them? The I'm really trying to get it, but I just, I... There are a lot of things I know about this game, but I just don't know the trigger for her comments. Isn't... This place is fa... Are you going to see... I go through a dialogue tree at least twice here. Were you... Have you made fr And no dice. I'll... I'll buy the Ring of Whispers since we're here. We'll need it later. Satisfied? I'll be around if you ever come back. do it for Majula for now. Instead, we have business back at the Lost Bastille. We need to head for the servants' quarters. Also, maybe give these claws a test on something that isn't thin air. They're unupgraded, so don't expect miracles, but... Yep, with no upgrades whatsoever, even power stancing them doesn't do a whole lot. It's a pretty respectable amount of damage, though, if you manage to nail all the hits on the strong attack, so... If you were, on, were to invest in these claws, they could probably be very powerful weapons. While they are technically classified as fist weapons, they deal slash damage. So they're not really fist weapons. They're just sort of fist mounted. Now, luckily for us, the fact that these do very low damage doesn't mean anything against the undead citizens here. In fact, the speed at which they come out makes them very effective weapons against these volatile enemies. Hal is wearing the Desert Sorceress skirt, by the way. Despite the fact that it's little more than some fabric and high heels, it's honestly some of the best leggings we've got at the moment.
regardless of your character's gender, you can wear any item in the game. So don't worry about that. If we use the Bastille key we got from the Belfry, we can go into this cell and pick up a petrified dragon bone. Also open this door, which is a shortcut? Uh, I don't know. However, we're somewhat flush with fragrant branches of yours, so let's help this guy out, whoever he is. Before we talk to him, I want to have a bunch of souls on hand, because he is a merchant. Still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young traveler. I am strayed, a wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time, but I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> here, of course, is learn the mock gesture. Oh, how long was I sat petrified? Long enough for the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> Drang Lake. I've never heard the name. Is that what they call this place now? Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of course, you came of your own free will. <laughs> the people fear the cursed ones like a plague. Some people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. So very typical of meat minds, don't you think? <laughs> Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. They even turned the great strain into a stone. <laughs> Many kingdoms rose and fell on this tract of earth. Mine was by no means the first. Anything that has a beginning also has an end. No flame, however brilliant, does not one day splutter and fade. But then, from the ashes, the flame reignites and a new kingdom is born, sporting a new face. It is all a curse. <laughs> and it is your cursed flesh that will inherit the flame. <laughs> Pyromancy was created by the ancient witch of fire. She harnessed the power of flame and melded it into pyromancy. The witch led her daughters into war against the old ones. But legends are legends. What are you prepared to believe? <laughs> oh, what? Just 
despite his cryptic advice and incredibly arrogant demeanor, Strayed is a very helpful fellow. Aside from just selling a bunch of really useful things, specifically that agape ring, he also provides a very special service. I sort of waffle over what I want to buy here, and eventually I just decide on cast light. Most of these spells are pretty good, but you need souls for this. This being boss weapons. As you have probably noticed, after every boss we defeat, we get their soul. These souls can either be consumed, or they can be traded into certain NPCs for weapons. Now, we don't have a particularly extensive collection of boss souls at the moment, so our selection is a bit limited, but some of these weapons are real winners, some of them not so much. Strayed is unique in that he also sells boss spells, including the very powerful Toxic Mist from the Royal Rat Vanguard soul. That we will pick up. We're running low on souls, so I decided to just limit myself to this chariot lance and call it good for the day. Not before wistfully looking over some of the things that I can make, however. I'm a very indecisive shopper sometimes. Feeble cursed one. Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> well, we'll just have to try our best. This bonfire allows for easy access between Strayed and the outside world, so let's head back to Majula. Strayed had said some pretty interesting things. I don't want to go too lore crazy in the main videos here, but I feel that it's worth addressing some of the things that he said. In the meantime, we're gonna demo the chariot lance a little bit. Lances are like spears, except more so. The chariot lance takes a lot of strength to use one-handed, but two-handing it will do okay. Most lances have some sort of charging attack for their strong attack. Landing a hit with that will usually send somebody flying. Now, as for what Strayed was saying, about the ancient witch and the war against the old ones. Now, we know that he must be referring to other old ones than the ones that we're seeking out. Even older old ones, I guess. Strayed himself is pretty old, outdating this kingdom entirely. However, he is not undead. He was simply a rock for a very long time. And there is certainly nothing preventing some of his great magic from keeping him alive even longer. There are actually a number of NPCs in this game that are not undead. By the way, you can upgrade boss weapons with dragon bones, but they are very precious and it costs quite a bit of souls to do, so for now we're just going to leave it be. I will, however, use my surplus of titanite charge to upgrade that silver black spear, though. I do like that weapon a lot, as well as the blacksmith's hammer. I'll be around if you make it back. Let's go find something to test this out on. At any rate, Strait of Balatha seems to know quite a bit, and he's not necessarily coy with the information, he just pre presents it in a form that is a little bit obtuse.
unlike Strayed, there are other still perfectly normal living beings here. Falcon the Hexer was one. Gilligan seems to be perfectly fine. He only came here to um, evade entanglements with certain old associates. The Emerald Herald is presumably okay. Though, the rest of these guys are... Oh, Carillion and Rosabeth also seem to be perfectly fine, having come here on a journey of discovery of knowledge. But we'll have to learn more at a later date, because we're done for now. I'll talk to you guys next time.